good tech when it comes to put this hard stuff in to find where a lot of these deviations and shadows are because you can't really pick them all up um, especially when the walls have had the paper stripped off and there's that much going on you can't really find them unless you know you literally went over and felt every part of the wall so when the lining paper's on you can start to show up um, all the bits you've missed so as I use this um, metal ruler and just draw it over might look a bit extreme when you're doing this but it does show me where these are sitting um, you can just see the edge of it here and the bellow that's where it softens off so when I got this at this edge to do here I mean it looks a lot worse than what it is but it's nothing really but these will appear when the paper dries back so it's no problem either re-skim all the walls or this is just a slight deviation there so that'll go this is the area that was quite ripply as i mentioned but to try and hide all this without the paper on you know it's quite hard to find it so these will fill out like i've done these here you can see Going off now, the filler on the edge, that's it inside there. So, it won't be a problem. It'll be gone. So that's it. You can see where now it's highlighted where these edges are and I've been just go around with my filler and start to fill.
So I've got my dehumidifier running now. It's helped the drying process, so that's the noise you can hear there. And a lot of this is going off now, it's ready for a second fill. It does go off really quick, this. Um, now this is a lot creamier, I've put a lot more paint in this one, this final one. And just very gently just draw it over the surface for one more. Just to I'll smooth it off. Really broad areas like this using the hard stuff. Um, I am going to give this another coat after this so it will have had three coats. So you want to make sure this hard stops dry because it can work up once it starts to get wet with the emulsion. Okay, so I'm going to leave this uh, dehumidifier running and then move my bucket of water and any other, anything else that's wet to damp out the room and just leave it to dry out now.